Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2020. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe. Today we're going to be covering Isaiah 11 through 13 and Ephesians 4. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice so that the reading of your word will be a blessing to you and for those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. The Branch from Jesse, Isaiah 11. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his root, a branch will bear fruit. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the Spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the Spirit of counsel and of might, the Spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes, or decide but what he hears with his ears, but with righteousness he will judge the needy. With justice he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt, and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will lie down with the lamb. The leopard will lie down with the goat. The calf and the lion and the yearling together and a little child will lead them the cow will feed with the bear their young will lie down together and the lion will eat straw like the ox the infant will play near the cobra's den and the young child will put its hand into the viper's nest they will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain. For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. In that day, the root of Jesse will stand as a banner for the peoples. The nations will rally to him and his resting place will be Glorious. In that day the Lord will reach out his hand a second time to reclaim the surviving remnant of his people from Azariah, from Lower Egypt, from Upper Egypt, from Cush, from Elam, from Babylonia, from Hamath, and from the islands of the Mediterranean. He will rise a banner for the nations and gather the exiles of Israel. He will assemble the scattered people of Judea from the four corners of the earth. Ephraim's jealousy will vanish and Judea's enemies will be destroyed. Ephraim will not be jealous of Judea nor Judea hostile towards Ephraim. They will swoop down on the slopes of Philistine, uh, Philistia to the west. Together they will plunder the people to the east. They will subdue Edom and Moab. And the Ammonites will be subject to them. The Lord will dry up the gulf of the Egyptian sea. With a scorching wind he will sweep his hand over the Euphrates River. He will break it up into seven streams so that anyone can cross over in sandals. There will be a highway for the remnant of his people that is left from Assyria as there was for Israel when they came up from Egypt. Songs of Praise Isaiah 12. In that day you will say, I will praise you, Lord, although you were angry with me, your younger your your anger has turned away, and you have comforted me. Surely God is my salvation. 
I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself, is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. And that day you will say, Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done, and proclaim that he is that his name is exalted. Sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things. Let this be known to the world. Shout aloud and sing for joy, people of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel among you. A Prophecy Against Babylon Isaiah 13 A Prophecy Against Babylon that Isaiah, son of Amoz, saw. Raise a banner on a bare hilltop. Shout to them, beckon to them, to enter the gates of the nobles. I have commanded those I prepared for battle. I have summoned my warriors to carry out my wrath, those who rejoice in my triumph. Listen, a noise on the mountains, like that of a great multitude. Listen, an uproar among the kingdoms, like nations massing together. The Lord Almighty is mustering an army for war. They come from far away lands, from the ends of the heavens, the Lord and the weapons of his wrath to destroy the holy country, country the whole country. Wail, for the day of the Lord is near. It will come like destruction from the Almighty. Because of this, all hands will go limp. Every heart will melt with fear. Terror will seize them. Pain and anguish will grip them. They will writhe like a woman in labor. And they will look aghast at each other, their faces aflame. See, the day of the Lord is coming, a cruel day, with wrath and fierce anger, to make the land desolate, and destroy the sinners within it. The stars of heaven and their constellations will not show their light. The rising sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. I will pu punish the whole I will punish the world for its evil and wicked for their sin. I will put an end to the arrogance of the haughty and will humble the pride of the ruthless. I will make people scarce than pure gold, more rare than the gold of Ophrah. Therefore, I will make the heavens tremble, and the earth will shake from its place at the wrath of the Lord Almighty in the day of his burning anger. Like a haughty gazelle, like a hunted gazelle, like sheep without a shepherd, they will all return to their own people. They will flee to their native land. Whoever is captured will be thrust through all who are caught will fall by the sword. Their infants will be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses will be looted and their wives violated. See, I will stir up against them the, med the meds who do not care for silver and no harm. Delight in and have no delight in gold. Their bows will strike down the young men. They will have no mercy on infants, nor 
will they look with compassion or on children babylon the jewel of kingdoms the pride of and glory of babylonia will be overthrown by god like sodom and gomorrah she will never be inhabited or live in lived in through through all generations there no nomads will pitch their tents there no shepherds will rest their flocks but desert desert creatures will lie there jackals will fill her houses there the owls will dwell and their wild goats will leap about hyenas will inhabit her strongholds jackals her luxurious places her time is at hand and her days will not be prolonged okay and now it's time to it was Isaiah 11 through 13 and now we're going to turn to Ephesians 4 let's see here Ephesians 4 whoops Ephesians 4 turn 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 unity and maturity in the body of Christ <clears throat> Ephesians 4 as a prisoner for the Lord then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received by completely humbling and gentle humble and gent by completely humble and gentle be patient bearing with one another in love make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace there is one body of and one spirit just as you were called up to one hope when you were called one Lord of faith one baptism one God and Father of all who is over all of the and though over all and through all in all but to each of us grace has been given as Christ appointed it this is why it this is why it says when he ascended on high he took many captives and gave gifts to his people what does his ascended mean except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions he who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fulfill the whole universe so Christ himself gave the Apostles the prophets the everlasting the evangelists the pastors and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in knowledge of the Son of God and become mature attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming instead speaking the truth in love we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head that is Christ from him the whole body joined and held together by everything supporting ligaments growths, legitimate growths legitimate growths 
from him the whole body joined and held together by every supporting ligament grows the and builds itself up in love as each part does its work instructions for christian living ephesians 4:17 so I tell you this, and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do, in the futility of their thinking. They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost the all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity, and they are full of greed. That, however, is not the way of life you learned. When you heard about Christ and were taught in him, in accordance with the truth, that is, Jesus, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self created to be like God in trust, in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. In your anger do not sin, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry, and do not give the devil a foothold. Anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer, but must work, doing something useful with their own hands, that they may have something to share with those in need. Do not let anyone, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it, that it may benefit those who listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. And there you have it. That was Ephesians 4. And that concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2020 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Isaiah 14 through 16 and Ephesians 5 through 1 through 16. Father, I just thank you for your word because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, folks, for tuning in to the Bible with Frisco 2020. I have enjoyed being your messenger of the word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here, and I hope that you are too. <laughs>